I think we're recording. Just gotta wait for the washing machine to finish. Take a little spin. All right. All right, guys, and welcome back to another episode. It's episode 51 of the 10 minute modeling challenge. This week has been another super busy week with game dev stuff. And I've been doing some research on some topics that I need to figure out. And uh, I thought I might share some links with you because I've been researching a few things this week and doing a lot of testing. And uh, the first thing I want to do is show you a video by Pontus Carlson, a fellow Swede, I believe. It's Fluffy Stylized Trees. It's a tutorial where he creates these really nice looking trees. And uh, you can see here, it's a really cool effect with a Fresnel backlighting type of thing and uh, mm, randomly rotated uh, billboards that are allocated. And he's using a, a really nifty trick by just taking the, the geometry of a tree that you could uh, design a low poly tree. <laughs> uh, in Blender, and then um, of course in Blender, he's using ZBrush, but I'll forgive him for that. I recommend that video, I'll put the link in the description if you want to che check those fluffy trees out, really good stuff. I've also found this uh, quite cool tutorial, I actually saw this a while back and uh, I've used a similar technique in the past as well, and it's a render texture tutorial where you can have a particle system that's rendering from top down onto a render texture, and then you can use that texture to affect your shaders and create shock waves or you could imprint in snow or dirt or mud or even have the ripple effects that you do in uh, water, for example, like in uh, Fortnite. I've also been looking into anti-aliasing a bit further. And uh, I've always used uh, MS, uh, it's a multi-sampling anti-aliasing, MSAA, which is uh, enabled by default in Unity. And uh, I believe that the performance is supposed to be uh, not that great, but I've never really had a problem with it because I don't really push that heavy graphic stuff anyway. But there's one thing that I do hate about it, and that's the fact that it doesn't handle Unity's uh, real-time shadows at all. So you'll have these uh, white auras around your objects and it's creating a really nasty effect. So I haven't really found a solution for that in the past, but I did actually find a tutorial on that one as well. So I found this one, uh, it's a Reddit post and it was um, he made a work around for the long-standing issues with shadows, transparency and MSAA. And I actually gave this a shot and uh, it's a custom written shader that uses uh, render texture as well. And I thought uh, it looks a bit complicated to implement it, but I actually gave it a try and it's not as complicated as it looks. So I'm really excited about this one. It actually took away those nasty edges around uh, the shadow casting objects and it looked really promising. So I'm uh, looking forward to testing that a little bit more. I haven't implemented it yet, and I'm a little bit concerned that it won't be performing as good as I need, but I got my hopes up. So we'll see how that goes. Last week we did a little uh, Christmas theme thing for the 50th episode, and uh, this time around I've watched a little bit of the, the Mandalorian series, and I've also played some Fortnite where it's Mandalorian theme. So I'm gonna ride on that wave a little bit, and I'm gonna make myself a low poly Mandalorian. So. Again, low poly because uh, it's gonna have to fit within 10 minutes and I've got a great excuse then why it doesn't look uh, like the real Mandalorian. So let's have some fun. Let's create a low poly Mandalorian. Ready, steady, go and we're off. And tab into edit mode. No, actually first I'm gonna do the auto mirror. Tab into edit mode now. A to select everything, S to scale down, G to move it up. Let's make a torso here. Scale down again and low poly Mandalorian. Control R, loop cut a couple of times and Let's actually extrude this one a little bit further. Longer torso. And control R, we need another loop cut here for the legs. A groin area. And A looks a bit too wide still, so scale that one down. Scale Y, that's it. E to extrude, S to scale. Front view. And again, it's gonna be a low poly. Scale, rotate. E to extrude, E to extrude. And E to extrude. <laughs> Primitive. That doesn't look like a Mandalorian. I can see people's kids are saying, and tr try to defend me, say that it's low poly. It uh, it'll take some getting used to, but from a distance, it'll look pretty good, I think. Let's get uh, the shoulder here. How am I doing? 851. E to extrude, S to scale. Move that one up. E to extrude. We'll do a T pose. Standard. G. E to extrude. S to scale, and here we'll do some simple arms. E to extrude, S to scale, E to extrude, S to scale, scale Y, E to extrude, E to extrude. Let's do open palm. That's it. And here we need to do some armor now, I guess. So control R, I think he's got some sort of a belt. I have to try to remember what he looks like from the series now. <laughs> so a belt, I know he's got, we should change the close to some dark and then he's got some armor here so we'll do <laughs> keep it simple e to extrude that one that's 
is uh, shiny. Uh, oh, I forgot the name of the armor type. What's the armor? Bez be something steel. I should have paid more attention. But it seems to be attracting the stormtroopers. Um, <laughs> I guess they're really bad at aiming, but they seem to be really good at hitting his armor all the time. Even though he's got only these little patches of it. Come on, can I? There we go. And then he's got some shoulder pads with it. I know. So let's put them here. Oh, my mouse is messing up. I'll blame it on that. So, Bezier, Bezian, what is it called? Should have uh, checked that out before I made the video. What's the steel called? My son is going to be really upset with me now. And here, let's do some thicker. We'll do all T to extrude. Maybe that's too wide. Control R. We'll have to do some elbow stuff here anyway. There we go. Top of the arm here. I have to do his helmet as well. Control plus G. There we go. Okay, a chest. He'll have some sort of armor here as well. So maybe like that. And Alt E to extrude, long face normals. And maybe we'll do some indentation here. I can't remember what it looks like, but we'll do something like this. G, G. I've got some issues with uh, the indentation. Hmm, strange. G. Okay, let's move this in a little bit and out a bit. Ah, I should have looked a little bit more. <laughs> ah, this is... Uh, okay. Remember, remember, low poly. But I can uh, color it anyway. So, click select a few of these. Or shift select, I should say, not click select. That's it. Color it. Make it the steel... Oh, that's the wrong color. Shinier. Uh, 543. Okay, make brown, has he got a leather belt or we'll make some brown shoes and then a brown belt, no, that's it. And the armor, sh he should have a more masculine shape up here, shouldn't he? Alt said, let's do some drastic uh, plastic surgery here to his uh, body shape. Okay, Alt Z to see through, and then we'll just try to fix it. Let's move this one out a bit more. In it. Okay, I have to do the helmet now because I've only got five minutes to go. <laughs> that look, that doesn't look like I'm Mandalorian, but I was, I'll do the head separate. I think just the helmet. Scale Z zero. Let's move this one out to try to make it a little bit rounder, and get that. Oh, what is it called? The armor, the steel type. <clears throat> e to extrude anyway. I know that. That's what my shirt says. So control R and he's got like a T shape here. Oh no, my mouse is hanging. Oh, some exciting uh, issues going on here for this video. And then control R, let's do a cut here. And then it's like a, t a Tesla T in the center here. So I'll do control R maybe here. And I'll scale this down. Yes. It's a bit like a knight's helmet, I guess. Move that center thing up as well. Okay, and maybe this out. And maybe this in. How am I doing? Four minutes. Okay, and here, here's for the T-shape now then. I'll do that, I think. Maybe we'll do... Oh, before I do that, I think I'll move it up to there. Because it's going down here. I think. <laughs> Let's keep it like that. Maybe GG. Good game. Control R. Scale that one. Okay, we'll have to E to extrude this one in anyway. Maybe I'll do like that. E to extrude in. Maybe that much. G. Make it black. Okay, and then he's got some uh, like funky shape here as well. I to inset maybe. It's indentation indented here by the cheeks. So, G. Uh, three minutes of panic to go. 
G. Okay. E to extrude that one. S to scale it down. That's too much. Oh, ooh, it's got some serious dimples there. Let's just move it in instead. And G. G. Okay, this is too wide. And the head, well, the head is too flat, I think. Scale Z up. Alt Z to see through. Let's try to tweak the shape here. G. I don't know. Feels like it's supposed to be tilted like this. Either. Okay, uh, 2 minutes 26. Let's do like a rivet thing here. I think it goes to there. Alt E to extrude long face normals. Maybe like this. Got some ish, something here. G, 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 G. Okay, one fifty three. Okay, let's do like some square thing here I've seen on the side looks like a padlock <laughs> this is not gonna look like a padlock though looks like a uh, screw is loose but it's gonna have to be simple like this and then it's got some dark thing here I think in the back uh, I to inset B E to extrude let's just do some vents there okay he's got um, a cape anyway E to extrude E to extrude that's the scale side view Oh, the head is detached. <laughs> S to scale. Uh, e to extrude, S to scale. One minute, 13 to go. Rotate. E to extrude, S to scale. Rotate. And then control right click. No. Control right click. Control right click. Control right click. Control right click. Scale. Okay, we'll have to... Maybe just pull it in like this. Control minus on the keypad. That's it. And maybe, okay, oh, proportional, let's try to, oh, G. Okay, O oh, again, G. Smaller, Alt O. Let's get rid of the connected thing there. S to scale, 28 seconds to go, L. Off of proportional scale Y. Um. Oh no, my mouse is froze again. Ah! Ah, that's it. Time's up. <laughs> okay. Oh, here we go again. All right, guys, that was my attempt at a low poly Mandalorian. And um, it's got the. I, I guess it's just so distinct, that face, the T thing. So I guess I'll get away with uh, people will know what it's meant to be. And from a distance like this, if you had a really tiny Mandalorian like this, it could work. And I think uh, if I was to change a few things, I'd probably fix the arm a little bit. It looks a bit weird. And the knee pads and everything like that would need to be a little bit better shape. And this face, I think this one should have been further in, maybe like this. Or something. That's it. I think it's got more, more of a character like this. Somehow. But I can't change that now, so to leave it the way it was. Okay, so for the bonus material, should we try to rig this guy again? It's been a while since I rigged anything, so let's save it first of all. Let's do it the fast way. Let's, uh, I'll just try to talk you through really quick. Shift A. I've actually got a tutorial coming out about this uh, again very soon. But I'll do uh, tab out mode, Shift A. Let's do armature. Let's go in front. Definitely got some issues in my PC. It's freezing up. I don't know if it's the mouse. Could be something else. Could be an excuse. Hmm. Could be. I'll take it. Scale this one down. Okay, so it's called Beskar Armor. Sorry for the confusion before. I should know that because they say it about 10 billion times in every episode. So I'll put my little low-poly Mandalorian on my Patreon page for the tutorial tier and uh, drop by there if you want to have uh, give it a little bit of extra support.